Hello! Today we're going to be taking a look at this T12 soldering station. Um, now it's just sort of a generic type. It hasn't really got branding on it, I suppose. ESD saved? No, that's nothing. T12 soldering station, that's pretty much it. Um, but it came with two tips. I've read that these ones are pretty useless actually, they're too big. And, but anyway, it's come with one. And that one. Has it got a name on it? JS, is that the one? I don't know. I know they have uh, different numbers on them. But the actual soldering iron has got a nice silicon, soft silicon wire. It's actually very light. Not a lot of weight to it at all. The plug, that's going to have to come off and put a proper UK plug on it. Just cut the wire on that and uh, change it. Um, yeah. The, the unit... I'll get it powered up once I've got that plug put on. But it's got an on off switch, power cable goes into the back. Stand there for you uh, put your soldering iron in. But these, these just slide in. And now this, this is a very tight fit. I'm hoping it'll ease up a bit in time but yeah it's in don't know how difficult it is to get it back out again though but anyway it's in <laughs> but that feels okay it's got a nice little locking ring four pin with a little cutout that uh, fits into there, so it can only go in that one way, he says. Let me tighten that up to lock it in. Yeah, that's it, it's, uh, it's ready to go, isn't it? What I'm going to do, I'm going to change the, uh, the plug on this, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay. So we've got our fused 3 amp plug attached to the wire now, plugged in. In the back there's a main switch on the back. Well, I've got the instructions handy to see what I'm doing. So that's set. At 199 degrees, so you can turn that up. And the beep is to tell you it's hit the temperature. And that heats up very, very quickly. And if we uh, go into the settings, by it says double pressing, but... I don't know, I found it quite difficult to get into the settings. Press and hold. I don't know. I just keep pressing away and eventually it uh, it gets to the P settings. I press again. P1, look. 230. P2. I mean, the instructions only start at P4. So, so P4 is the temperature ad adjustment steps. Auto sleep is P5, can set between 1 and 60 minutes. P6, shutdown time. It's obviously set at 10 minutes. P7, no that's not listed. P8, wake up mode, two choices. Zero means that uh, movement wakes it. Nine. Temporary temperature enhancement. I think that's the boost 
um, it's like a boost but you press it once and it boosts it 11 is not listed 12 is the buzzer zero is off and one's on but yeah the settings are a a little awkward to get into I'm not finding it uh, jumping straight to them what's the temperature set? let's set the temperature at 300 so one press is the boost yeah it does look it does boost it up about 30 degrees at 330 so yeah if you need a bit of a, a bit more heat give the button a press <laughs> But if we look on the manual, I mean, uh, when I bought it, it was called the Hands Kit, strange name. But on the actual unit, there's no uh, no branding at all. I suppose they've all got the same in t uh, internals to them, so. Not much else in it, that's all in Chinese. But that's uh, just telling you what the P settings are in the settings, obviously, not covering them all. I mean, it says press and hold the encoder button and turn it on again to enter the parameter settings. I don't know, I just keep pressing away. <laughs> anyway, I'm quite happy with the way it's set, I think. I have received three more tips. Um, a D16, will it focus if I come in close? It's a D16. That one is a D8. And that one is a B, a BC2. I don't know whether this camera can focus that close. I don't know. I think it comes up a bit blurred. And yeah, the yeah, it came. It came with two originally. It's a K series, which, and uh, the one I've got in at the moment. Can't see what number it is, it's inside the holder, but it's just a pointy one. It certainly works okay. That looks a bit better. Probably put too much on there now, but hey. Certainly, uh, yeah, put a bit too much on, but it's, uh, it certainly uh, joined it. <laughs> but that's joined it. Strands. Well, yeah, it uh, it works okay for a cheap soldering station. I think I paid, I think I paid twenty five pound. I think for this, <clears throat> so it's not too bad, is it? Um, and the iron is 
quite nice to hold so it's not heavy and it fits in your hand well it's got the silicon lead so it shouldn't burn the only thing I'm a little well, see disappointed is getting into the settings again it's press and hold I don't know <laughs> Just keep pressing. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need to change the settings anyway. Like I say, it's doing what it's supposed to do now. So, but hey, it was cheap, and it works, and it does the job. And now I've got the uh, various other tips to put on. I can change as and when I need to. So yeah, T12 soldering station by who knows what brand. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, thanks for watching.